It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and this time we're here to test and check out these cool little waterproof uh, solder all-in-one connectors. So I was on Facebook and I seen these in a uh, little Facebook ad, the, the ones that really annoy you that pop up, and I thought, hey, maybe I should order some of them, test them out, see how good they actually are. So here is the video that I seen right up here in the left corner. And we're gonna test the methods that they use to make the connections, the uh, lighter, the candle, and the heat gun. We'll see how it stacks up to actually soldering something. And yes, I will show my terrible, terrible solder skills on a video for once. So uh, take it easy on me a little bit, but let's get these all twisted up, ready to heat, and uh, we'll get straight into the testing. The first method of melting the solder that I'm going to test is the lighter method that they show in the video. So I uh, started my timer. We'll see how long it takes to uh, melt the solder good enough to where at least I think it's melted. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it does. And once we get all these tests done, we'll cut them open and see what they look like on the inside. I really had to put the heat to this. Uh, you can see it's black and charred. I'm not too confident in this method. We will see how it holds up, but let's jump to the candle method. This method may be a little bit better because I can use both my hands and uh, you know just kind of hold it in the perfect spot over the fire, but there's really only one way to find out. We're on to the heat gun method and I think this is going to be the best way to do it. You can get a nice even heat. So let's uh, let's melt some solder. If you've ever thought about prototyping your own PCB board, whether it be for a custom relay box or a custom amp design, you should check out our friends over at PCBWay.com. Right now, you can get 10 prototype boards for $5, but you can get those first 10 boards for free by signing up today. They're also doing something called Shared Projects, where you upload your own custom PCB design, and if someone purchases that design, you get a 10% commission. So please, check out pcbway.com. Lastly, I'm just going to solder these wires directly together. We will have a direct comparison between the two. We'll see how these easy all-in-one solder heat gun, solder ironless type connections hold up to actual solder itself. Okay, victim number one did not hold up. Uh, obviously, this had no connection whatsoever. The solder did not melt. So let's go on to the candle, see if it fares any better. Basically, I'm just pulling them apart, see if I can pull them apart, much like they did in the video. So, you know, this isn't science, but uh, it gives you something to compare it to. The candle did hold up. We'll go with the heat gun, see how it does, and then we'll go on to the soldering iron and see if it's any different. So far, everything we have tested has been 14 gauge. They do have a connector that accepts 10 and 12 gauge. I wanted to go ahead and try the 10 gauge, the largest size, and see how well it holds up. And to me, it seemed to hold up just as well as the 14 gauge heat gun. And I did use the heat gun on this 10 gauge. Now we can cut them open and see what they're like. Obviously, this lighter didn't make the cut, so the lighter method's out. Let's cut the rest of them open and see what they look like on the inside. So the candle method is not looking great either. We didn't get great penetration with our solder. This could be my fault, but I did have it on there for quite a while. So who knows? This method doesn't look good. I expect, I hope for better results on the heat gun. So the heat gun is looking a little bit better. 
it's still not what I want to see. I mean, it didn't get full penetration of the solder, so I don't know. Let's cut open the regular solder, and that way you guys can see what that looks like versus what we've done so far. If you can kindly look past my horrendous soldering skills, you will see that we got much, much better penetration on the wire than any other method we've tested thus far. And in my opinion, I'm leaning heavy, uh, soldering it by hand versus these connections. But uh, let's try this uh, 10 gauge one out, see if we had any better luck. The 10 gauge did do a little bit better. Um, it's not as good as the soldering iron. Um, he, these connectors are okay. I think you will do okay if you use the heat gun. Obviously, if I'm choosing, and I am choosing, I would choose to hand solder my uh, connections one by one. These are very convenient, and if you're using if you're using these, definitely, definitely use the heat gun. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. As far as the lighter and the candle go, I cannot recommend doing that even if it was some sort of user error on my part for why these methods failed i i'm watching a facebook video here guys so we're just comparing head up to what they had i wanted to show you guys what they show us how it would work and just try it like that so solder yourself if you want a very good connection if you want to use these definitely use a heat gun but i want to show you guys another method that i really like a method that is not popular and a lot of people hate on this but crimp connectors i like crimp connectors if you use a good solid crimp connector and you use a nice crimping tool you're going to get a very solid connection as i'll show you here we're doing a regular uh, butt connector and then we'll also do a crimp cap because I know people really love to hate the crimp caps as well I'm actually pulling on this thing. I'm giving it all I got and it's solid. What else do you want me to say? Okay, it's time to test out the much maligned crimp cap. And for some applications, I do like a crimp cap. It's a wire on wire connection, and it's a very solid connection, save for one thing that you will see whenever I, uh, whenever I go to try to pull these apart. When I start to pull on this, you'll see the cap has nowhere to go but off because the wires are underneath it and I'm literally pulling out. But as far as the connection goes, I mean, this thing is solid. I literally pulled the jacket off the wire. This is the fall of the crimp cap. That top connector can fall off in certain conditions, but it doesn't happen often. And sometimes I just use a little tape to, uh, to solve that. So if you bought these and you thought, hey, this will be quick, easy, I'll get a nice, good, waterproof, soldered connection. We don't know about the waterproof because I didn't test that. But as far as a nice, good, solder connection, no. These did not meet the mark. I cannot recommend these. If you want the strength of a soldered connection, just go ahead and solder it yourself. These aren't really worth the time, in my opinion. You will get it done faster just using solder. And if you're going to use them somehow in a dash and you thought it might be easier that way, it definitely won't. You'll have to have a heat gun up under your dash and it'll just be a big disaster. If you need something quick and easy, like I said before, try out the butt connectors. Uh, terminate them properly and they will last you a very, very long time. So, you know, that's it. That's my take on these quick little solder ironless uh waterproof connectors can't recommend them but what i can recommend is you drop some comments below 
Tell me what you think about them. Let's keep the discussion going. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Do all that type of stuff. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. A quick shout-out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout-out goes to Six Star or more members. 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, The Karate Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClennan, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, and William Inhibit. For as little as $2 a month, you can get on the Patreon team and get exclusive patron-only content not available on YouTube. If you want to help me with my goal of reaching one new patron a month, please check me out. Patreon.com slash high five Vega. Oh.